So when I saw this article from Bounding Into Comics and I saw a couple things trending on Twitter, uh, it got me a little bit worried. Now, a lot of you guys know I absolutely love The Witcher. The Witcher is probably one of my favorite video game series of all time. Uh, I read the books, but not like to the point of Lord of the Rings. So don't ask me to remember a lot of the key pl uh, you know, plot details. But still, I, I just I really do love The Witcher and I loved Henry Cavill's portrayal of The Witcher. And when that show lost Henry Cavill, I lost all interest in watching the show. Even though the show veered away from the source material drastically, just Henry Cavill's portrayal and his essence of Geralt of Rivia made me want to continue watching the show. Once he was gone, I lost all interest. Now, with that being said, now we're talking about the Witcher remake, the, the remake of the first game that came out. That game is, ha is having me very worried because the stuff that they are saying regarding the Witcher... Uh, it's not good and it can be taken out of context and that's why I'm hoping if I read this article I'm going to find out a little bit more of what exactly they mean but the stuff that I've been hearing and, and seeing them say has me worried so we have an article with a headline that says the Witcher remake dev team is working to determine which aspects of the original game are simply bad outdated and need to be remade and plan on removing the bad parts now I know for for me I'm taking this as they're looking at a very old game, right, with very old mechanics, and they're probably going to update those mechanics to be more closer to the second and third game because the second and third game were drastic differences from the first game. That's number one. That's how I feel, and that's how I was probably going to take this, but a lot of people are saying they're going to be removing the problematic parts in the game as well, like the politically incorrect stuff, and I'm like... I don't know if they're really going to do that necessarily. I don't know if they're really going to affect the story. I think they're going for the gameplay aspect, but let's find out exactly what's happening. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to my manga channel. The links are in the description box below in my link tree. I would love to see you there. So it says in a worrying admission that hints the upcoming title, but end up falling victim to one of the worst trends in modern video game history, Fool's Theory C. CEO Jacob Ricotte has uh, revealed that not only will the studio's upcoming remake of CD Projekt Red's first The Witcher title seek to address those parts of the original release that are simply bad, outdated, and need to be remade, but that it will completely excise those parts which are determined to be outright bad. Now, again, if they're talking about gameplay aspects, I can understand some purists who are just looking for a graphical remake of the first game to be pissed about that, but I'm not necessarily pissed about that. I would like to see it change to the gameplay of the second and the third game games which are much more famous and well known than the first game now again the first game has a cult classic following so don't get me wrong there but still i think this is about the game mechanics i think this is about the overall like gameplay and whatnot and simplifying it to the point where they make it a little more accessible to people because the first game was definitely a lot harder than the second and third game in my opinion the first game i remember alchemy played a big big part in it much bigger than the second and third game in the second and third game especially you can basically ignore alchemy unless you play on a harder setting where alchemy is essentially necessary to being able to win but in the first game you really didn't have that option to too much alchemy still played a big big role and i love that stuff i love the heart of games i mean you guys know i love my dark Souls style games so i'll never complain about game difficulty but i'm just saying from a from a developer standpoint i could see how they might want to try to do this because they're remaking the entire first game and they know the kind of audience that they've garnered from the second and third game and they're probably going to try to adhere to that audience it says he provided us insight into his team's upcoming the witch a remake during a recent interview given to Games Radar's Edge Entertainment News imprint. A former CD Projekt Red dev whose tenure at the studio saw him serve as a senior quest designer on both The Witcher 2 and Witcher 3, he began his time with the outlet's Ali Jones by explaining that his desire to tackle the first game in the series was born out of his own personal disappointment to how he missed the original opportunity to do so. I wanted a chance to give it the justice that it deserved. From there, Jones raised the topic of the first game's lack of polish, while its sequels would go on to be some of the most well-guarded uh, titles in the video game history, Geralt's original outing was plagued with such issues as graphical glitches and lackluster combat mechanics, to which Rokos revealed that first and foremost, we need an honest down-to-earth analysis of which parts are simply bad, outdated, and need to be remade. To this end, the dev explained that the analysis was being undertaken with the aim of both highlighting the parts that are great, should be retained, or are direct key pillars that can't be disregarded, and removing the bad parts. We're rearranging the good parts to create something that's both satisfying and still resonates with the feel of the original Rokos ultimately affirmed. So 
again, it looks like it's gameplay related, right? It's not too much story related or, or, or political correctness or anything like that. I'm I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this as long as they don't fuck it up to the point where they just completely change the game and it's not like anything close to the original. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with modernizing the gameplay mechanics because let's be real. The first game was not that great in that regard, okay? That like graphically, I didn't have a problem with it. Obviously, there was some glitches, but overall, the graphics were, were for its time, so I really don't care about that. But the gameplay mechanics, it was definitely much different from compared to the second and the third game. So if they're going to modernize this, I guess I'm okay with it. But for the diehards who are looking for a direct one-to-one -one just graphically updated you're probably going to be disappointed it says as of writing the results of full series analysis including what parts of the original the witcher they believe to be bad remain unknown to the public however in light of the industry's ongoing deference to the terminally offended it's currently speculated that one of the aforementioned bad parts of the game that will be removed it's his romance card system wherein after sleeping with one of the game's many female npcs the player will receive a special trading card featuring a risque reminder of their intimate encounter <laughs> yeah i remember those i remember those actually now that i think about it they might remove that they, they might actually remove that you might have a point bounding into comics giving weight to this theory is the fact that one of the system's own designers carol i can't say that last name has publicly voiced their regret at its inclusion in the original game it is about the fact that you switch to a mindset that you need to collect them all right he told video game news outlet time extension in december 2022 and in that context it is indeed very disturbing that the game kind of forces you to become a mindless sex addict to get some of those we fail to see that as when you are testing the game for the hundredth time you start to do it mechanically and don't really feel those emotions oh stop Stop, man stop who cares it's a freaking game like why are you trying to care about the emotions of the female avatars in the game that's just man they look for anything like they really look for anything to be offended about they look for anything to, to consider problematic um but again i don't know if they're going to remove this system i think they probably will though now that i think about it and if they do that's going to be bullshit and they deserve to be called out on it right like if you're going to change the gameplay mechanics i understand that that's fine but don't take out stuff like this at this point now you're really trying to change the game because you deem it problematic back in the day when you made it when you were clearer headed and now that you're so obsessed with certain identity politics now you want to say oh that's problematic that's bad no man just stick to it stick to the original game stick to the original story update it for graphically modern audiences change the combat system a little bit to reflect the second and the third game and that's it that's all you should really do in this remake but i i don't know now that i've seen this i'm starting to question whether or not they're actually going to stick to their guns uh considering cd project red's history i think they will ultimately um what happened with cyberpunk i think has them very scared and very uh on their toes right when it comes to making a game or remaking a game in this particular notion but i i think that they're going to do the right thing i hope they do the right thing and if they don't i'm going to call them out on it and if they do do the right thing i'm going to buy the game so there's really it's really not too much uh, a disparity here it's going to be either one or the other but uh i probably will end up buying this game so long as they do the right thing so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out